Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today I'm gonna do what I eat in a day on lazy keto. No fasting going on today. So I'm gonna get in my meals and I wanna show you what I eat to lose weight. If you're new to my channel, I do all sorts of keto related videos. So I'd love it if you'd subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. And make sure you hit the notification bell so every time I upload, you'll be the first to know. I have an Instagram page that I'm gonna have right here for you guys. So you can go over there and check me out. I do post on my stories daily and there are tons of before and after photos over there. Have I mentioned there's a Facebook group? You need to go join it. It's absolutely amazing. We're getting ready to hit 20 thousand members with no keto police everyone is supportive you're going to love it over there it's called all things keto with christy and i'll have it linked in the description box so you can just click on it and it'll take you right on over so like i said in the beginning today's video is going to be what i eat in a day on lazy dirty keto I don't to count all my macros. I just try to stay under 20 net carbs a day. And I do this right now every other day. On the days I'm not doing all of my meals, I am trying out dirty fasting. And if you don't know what that is, I'll have it linked in the cards for you guys so you can go check it out. It is something that I've recently started and have managed to drop a significant amount of weight. So today's gonna be breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, drinks, and I have a doctor's appointment. Um, we'll talk about that during the chat. But I have some amazing news. Like, I was bawling like a baby when I found out this news. You guys are not gonna believe this, and I feel like this is not only on me, it is for every single one of us. I was notified over on Instagram by ketoweekly.com that I have been nominated for the Keto Influencer of the Year Award. Can you believe that? So right now they are taking their votes. Votes end Thursday and this is just to get the finalist. Let me tell you some of the people that are nominated so far for a finalist. We have people like Thomas DeLauer, Logan from Goody Beats, Keo Connect. We're talking about people that have millions of subscribers. And then over there is little old me. So make sure you go vote. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the information in the description box. Can you imagine if I made it to the finals? I mean, I, I can't even imagine. And honestly, it is true what they say. It is an honor just to be nominated check in the description box. I'll have it right up top. So the link will be there. You can just click on that. You'll just need to put my name in Keto Influencer of the Year and also my Instagram handle. But I'll have it down there for you. So if you want to go vote for me, check the description box. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this full day of Dirty Keto. So I ended up fasting the past two days in a row. I don't really like to do that. I like to fast at least every other day. So this morning I decided to get up and have a pretty big breakfast for me. I'm gonna fix a sausage patty. These are from Walmart, they're the great value. I get the family size because we all like sausage. These are dirty keto because they do have a little bit of sugar or dextrose in them. Right here, each patty is one serving and it is zero carbs. So I'm fine with that. I'm also gonna throw some Canadian bacon in the air fryer with the sausage. And I picked this one up at Sam's. It's a huge thing of Canadian bacon. I love Canadian bacon. This one does have, I think, one carb in it. Yeah, so for three slices, that's one carb. I'm also going to be making these breakfast bites. I've shown these before. These are so good and they're quick and convenient. They're in this little tray. I did pick these up at Sam's also. Two of these, I'm pretty sure is two carbs with less than one fiber. So I would count this as two carbs also. And then on top of that, I'm going to sprinkle a little cheese. These egg bites, I think you get four packs of those or five. They're around $10. I don't know if I'll keep buying these once we get our kitchen back in order and I can make them myself, but right now they're extremely convenient. So we got two and then no carbs and then one. So this will probably be around three or four net carbs. I do round up a little bit when I'm doing net carbs. Again, I did just throw my sausage in the air fryer because it makes it crispier than if I put it in the microwave. Okay, here's what breakfast looks like. I am gonna take my Redmond's real salt and sprinkle that over my eggs. I try to put extra 
pink salt on everything I eat just for electrolyte reasons. When you're on keto, you need extra pink salt, not white salt. You need the pink salt. On days I'm not fasting, I try to drink more water. So today I did fill up my Tervis with 20 ounces of ice water. And that's what breakfast looks like this morning. I'm gonna round up to about four net carbs on this one. I'm gonna sit out here on the front porch. Mittens is probably gonna keep me company. So I'm just gonna hang out here and have breakfast. Quincy, of course, isn't happy because Mittens is out here. <laughs> okay, it's about 10.50. I'm in horrible lighting because I don't have the lights on. I'm just sitting in front of the window. I'm glad I went ahead and ate before they showed up. They're here doing the floors right now. They've already got in the insulation. So this evening when I get home, I'll go ahead and show the floors because they should have those done. Hopefully tomorrow is still drywall. I have my doctor's appointment today. Oh, by the way, I am dressed. I have a pink top on. I'm gonna put a little jacket on, if you guys can even hear me, before um, I head to the doctor's office. This is basically the first time I have had like real clothes on other than yoga pants in months, months, I'm not kidding. And this outfit was bought probably at the beginning of spring and it's already getting too big on me. So dirty fasting does work. It has helped me tremendously. I've dropped quite a bit of weight with it lately. I'll probably talk more about it, of course, in a dirty fasting video, which will probably be up Monday. Let's see, what else? Quincy is not happy with the noise. My allergies, I don't know if it's my allergies or where they're working in the house, but I am constantly like chugged up lately. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner is still the plan for the day. Well, we already got breakfast in, but lunch and dinner is definitely the plan, but my um, lunchtime hour, it's gonna be during the doctor's appointment. So I may have to pick something up while I'm out. I do have more errands to run today. I've gotta to pick up some prescriptions. Quincy's anxiety meds, don't wanna run out of those. And I have to pick up a prescription for my mom while I'm in the next town over. I think I'm getting ready to lose my voice. My plan today is to save our chat for after the doctor's appointment so I can fill you guys in. Again, that's my hematology appointment. <clears throat> We're gonna go over my lab work and set up a plan. Do you see why I need to go get his anxiety meds? Briley just called, like I said, it's 10.50. She forgot her lunch in the car. So I got to drive that down and drop it off before 11.50 when she has lunch. Always something, people, it's always something. This little one right here is not happy with all the noise, not at all. So he'll be glad when everybody's finally out of our house. Won't you, buddy? And so it begins almost done and of course this is just the test dose to make sure I'm not gonna have an allergic reaction thankfully in my purse I keep my avocado bag in here full of keto friendly snacks and treats so in case I run into something like this and have to miss a meal or I get hungry I can just open this up and pull something out so today's lunch unfortunately is gonna have to be out of the bag instead of eating something because I just did not realize I was gonna be here so long. My bad. Goodness gracious, lesson learned. I'm just now getting out of there and it's 4.30. I skipped a meal, not really. I went ahead and had like a bar and stuff, but on my days I'm not fasting. I don't like to skip a meal. Um, this was a pretty long process because we had to do the test to make sure I wasn't gonna have an allergic reaction to it. I had that mask on for like, four hours. I do not like having that on anyways because I have like this whole claustrophobic issue. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna head home and fix dinner because at this point, I'm like starving. I'm thinking lasagna tonight because I have one left over in the freezer and I went ahead and put it in the fridge so it would thaw. So when I put it in the uh, little toaster oven to cook, we will have our chat while it cooks because I got a lot of stuff to tell you guys. Confession Tom, I'm starting to get frustrated not having a kitchen. <laughs> okay, so remember before the kitchen went down, I went ahead and froze some lasagnas, keto friendly of course. These have the palmini noodles in them. These are just little bitty trays, usually around three or four servings in here. All I'm gonna do is just put this in my toaster oven. I'm gonna add some more cheese to it, cover it in aluminum foil, and cook. The cheese that I'm adding is the Italian cheese 
from Walmart. Everything in here in the lasagna was already pre-cooked. I just layered it, froze it, and was done. Okay. It's at 350 and I'm, I preheated this. I put it on 30 minutes, so it's been preheating for about four minutes. So I'm gonna let it cook the 26 minutes and see how it goes. The most frustrating part of not having a kitchen right now is not having a dishwasher or a sink big enough. It's starting to get to me. What are we on, four weeks now? I think yeah it's starting to get to me I've definitely never been a fan of washing dishes but this is what I'm working with a sink remember we still have to redo our bathroom after the kitchen but listen I don't my plates won't even fit it's just very frustrating trying to wash dishes in the bathroom definitely not ideal let me just say this I will never take my kitchen sink or dishwasher for granted again okay to go along with the lasagna i guess i'm just gonna be warming some green beans in the microwave <laughs> i think you can tell my frustration is starting to get real here guess who will not be having green beans the davis household do you know why boom <laughs> i can't find the can opener which means i guess we packed it up so <laughs> it may just be lasagna i don't know <laughs> I'm thinking we're starting to look more and more like a fast food family. We're just going to have to go keto fast foods for a while. I know what I'll do. I'll make this grilled zucchini that I picked up at Walmart in my last grocery haul. They had this for $1.90 and this is a huge bag of already grilled zucchini, 16 ounces. Well, let me see how it says. You can microwave it, you can stove top it, conventional oven. I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put this in my air fryer and see how that works out. I only kept a few limited spices out, so garlic powder it is. So what I did was put some aluminum foil down in my air fryer. I did spray that with some oil and then I layered the zucchini. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic over that and then put them in the air fryer. Since these are already pre-cooked and only been flash frozen, what I did was I hit this little veggie over here, brought it up to 400 and at 12. I'll go ahead and start that, but I don't think they'll need to stay in there 12 minutes. I'll just check them in a sec. While everything's finishing up, I'm just gonna go ahead and fix me a 20 ounce turbis of ice water. I'm trying to get more of that in on days when I'm not fasting. Dinner is in the little toaster oven and I thought I would come out here and we would do our chit chat. I do have a few things that I wanted to talk about. So if you guys watched my video about um, we were robbed, it was in my Sam's Club haul and someone had stole my Powerade Zero out from under our carport. And a lot of you guys were asking, do I think it was the construction workers that are here working on the kitchen? I absolutely do not 100% think that any of those guys had anything to do with the Powerade going missing. And that is because I don't think you understand, because you guys haven't seen my house, the whole setup. The kitchen is way over here on this side of the house. And they park over here in the neighbor's driveway and in our yard right here, okay? The Powerade Zero is way over here on the other side of the house inside the carport. So they can't get there from here because we have this screen door that goes into our carport that stays locked. So there's no way they could get in. So they would literally have to walk around the front of the house by the front door up through our carport, uh, well up through our driveway, all the way to our carport, back down, and then they would have to carry it in front of me, literally. And let me tell you, no one goes by our front door without Quincy letting me know. Let me just tell you. He is like a massive guard dog, or at least he thinks he is. And we are always home when someone is working. Me or Chris is always here. So we would definitely know if someone walked all the way in front of our house, in front of our front door, which is always open, locked of course, and then up our driveway into our carport back around with, you know, a case of Powerade. So no, I don't think it was them. I'm just hoping it was some kids and it was a prank or something like that. But anyways, we have security cameras now in case we need them. Doctor's appointment went well today. So if you don't know, I got some lab work that said I have extremely low iron. My ferritin level is critically low. It is less than one at this point. So I made an appointment with my hematologist. I went over today. <laughs> I gave him my blood work and he's like, shame on you. Shame on you. 
So it went ahead and today they set me up with a test um, in fed infusion of iron to make sure I wasn't going to have an allergic reaction because this is the one most people have allergic reactions to and it's like a one hour test that I have to do all this other stuff. Everything went great but unfortunately I was stuck there for several hours and missed lunch so don't ever want to do that again note to self either eat lunch before i go pack me a lunch or do something because on days that i'm going to get my iron which we've already scheduled my next three out those are not going to be fasting days for me for some reason i feel like i need to eat on those days just because the whole needles and blood work i just think it's a good idea not to fast on those days I did get a B12 shot today because my B12 was a little low. He said he needs it really high so that my body will accept the iron that we're getting. And let's see, he put me on folic acid because apparently you need lots of folic acid when you're getting iron. And like I said, I'm gonna be getting three treatments a week apart and then after that we're going to check my blood and see he said it's a possibility since it is so low i may need a blood transfusion but we're hoping i don't we're going to keep an eye on it and hopefully the numbers will go up as the infusions progress the bad news is he said i will not feel <laughs> any better until probably about three weeks after my first infusion he said it takes a while for the numbers to climb and he also said, how you been feeling? I said, great until, you know, the past week. And then it's like, I hit a wall. He said, that's perfectly normal because when your iron is low like this, you just feel this slow, steady decline, he said, and you never notice it. And then all of a sudden it's like you dive off of a cliff and, or you hit a wall. And I was totally understanding of that because that's exactly what happened. He asked me if I'd been having any symptoms like fatigue. Um, my hair falling out, um, cold hands and feet, um, things like that. Of course, every symptom he said I had. So the doctor's appointment went well. I already mentioned this at the very first of this video, but I got huge news. But I have been nominated for the Keto Weekly Awards, and that is... I was speechless. I was crying like a baby. I am just so honored that you guys have nominated me. It is the Ketogenic Awards and I was nominated as um, Influencer of the Year and they are going to take the votes till this Thursday and then they're going to see who has the most votes and those will be your finalists. So right now I'm just in the nomination process, but I'm speechless. Thank you guys so much for voting for me. Continue to vote. It will be down below. Can you imagine if I make it to the finals with, you know, it's going to be the big names like Thomas Delauer and Keto Connect. You know, they're going to make it because they have millions of followers. Go vote, guys. Let's get the underdog over there. Can you imagine? I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I am honored. I am humbled that you guys thought of me. I totally appreciate it. And you guys already know how much I love you. Okay, one last thing. I stopped by my P.O. box and I got a package, which all I managed to do so far oh, was this. Just take the tape off of it. Haven't even opened it, but it says to Southern Christy. So I just thought we'd open it together. And on the paper, check this out. It says, hope these make your new kitchen smell good. And it says, homemade with love. Thank you, especially for you. So let's just see what's in here. Right on top, it says, barn side candle, Carrie Smith owner, and she is in Ohio. Thank you, Carrie. And she does have a Facebook and an Instagram. Oh, let me see. Can you guys see that? There you go. In case any of you guys want to screenshot that and go check her out. But just from this card, I'm going to assume there's candles in this box because let me tell you, it smells amazing. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, so it's wax melts and this one is Fruity Unicorn. Let's see how it smells. Oh my gosh, that smells absolutely amazing. Let's see what else is in here. More wax melts, oh my goodness. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Well, that's gonna be dangerous. Let's smell that one. Oh my gosh. 
Um, this one is, oh my goodness, they, they just keep getting better. Marshmallow cotton candy. I'm obsessed with cotton candy. Oh, and look at the colors. It's blue and pink. This one smells so good. Oh, okay. Let's see. There are some more wax melts down on the very bottom. We have pumpkin spice latte and it looks like it has little coffee beans in it this one is cherry almond cookie if you guys could smell these we need smell a vision harry there are literally a ton in here thank you the next one is iced cinnamon roll there's that little extra detail on there that looks like icing this one is so strong it smells so good there are still three more people Oh my gosh, mint chocolate chip. These are like all of my favorites. I love wax melts, candles, anything that smells good. Next one, <sighs> cafe mocha. I love anything coffee flavored too. And then pecan pumpkin waffles. Oh my goodness, let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. Can you guys see that? It's got like these little sprinkles in here. <laughs> That is amazing. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. So this was basically, I assume Carrie, like a little kitchen warming gift. I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys. You never have to send me nothing, but this was amazing. Thank you. Okay, I think that's all I've got because I'm absolutely starving and I'm gonna go fix my dinner plate. I'm gonna sit down with the family and we're gonna eat and talk and have a good evening. I hope you guys enjoyed the little chat. I know I don't think it was nearly as long as my normal chat, but I felt like today was just doctor's appointments and rushing around and things like that. And I don't wanna bore you. Oh, I know what I need to do before I'll go in the house. They worked on this kitchen all day and I've not even looked in here yet. I came straight out and started recording. So let's walk in here and let me film this so you guys can see what all they did to the kitchen today. So apparently they took all the lighting down today cause I think they're supposed to come and do drywall tomorrow. I swear, I have not seen this. So we are looking at this together. Uh, oh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, we were thinking about getting a full black door. So the trim would be black and then the middle is going to be all glass. We'll come to find out I can't get that door until the middle or end of November. So we went with plan B we're getting an all white door and well, the edges are white and the middle is going to be a solid pane of glass so that we get a ton of light in our kitchen. Okay, well, let's see what's going on in here. I can't even get the door open anymore. Oh, check this out. We have floors and something we never had on this portion of the kitchen, we have insulation come to find out when they took the walls down, we only had insulation like right here. So none of this was insulated, which probably explains why our light bill was $300 a month. Look at this. They shortened the beam. Remember this beam right here came down to like right here. It was so long and they really shortened it. Come to find out they think it might be a support beam. So they went ahead and left it. <laughs> They're putting in can lights so that we get a lot of light when I record in here expect lots of video. I can walk on the floor. It's awesome. This is great. Up here are more lights. There's lots everywhere. This is amazing. Oh, and there's more. <laughs> okay, guys. I know this has been a tough process for me, but I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm getting quite excited about this. Are you guys excited as I am? Probably not, but I am ready. So tomorrow we should have some drywall up. Okay, I actually left the zucchini in there 12 minutes. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a little bit of the Redmond's Real Salt to this. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Then I'm gonna put it back in the air fryer for just a few seconds long enough to melt that cheese. Okay, the zucchini absolutely amazing lasagna is done also and it looks delicious and that's what my meal looks like for today a serving of lasagna several pieces of zucchini that i put garlic and also salt on with a little bit of parmesan cheese and water and yes this is all on a paper plate because i just reluctantly wash dishes in my bathroom sink 
It's time for my first pumpkin iced coffee of the season. I know what took me so long. We're like halfway into September, right? <laughs> All I have here is some iced cold brew decaf coffee that I made myself. It's just the Krispy Kreme K-Cups and I'll just go ahead and brew this in the Keurig and then I'll set it in the fridge, usually overnight or for several hours. So since I've already done that, I've added ice. Now I'm gonna be adding some unsweetened almond milk. I'm using vanilla, but use whichever one you want. Just make sure you're using unsweetened. This one is from Aldi. It's really good. It's only 30 calories a serving. Let me turn this around for you guys. Macros on this one are 30 calories for one cup, two and a half fats. Your carb count is probably less than one by the looks of things, net carb count that is. Your total carb count would be one and your protein, if I can get it to zoom in, is one. It does have quite a few ingredients, but nothing really bad right there. They are. I pick this one up at Aldi all the time. They have the vanilla and then the original. So I'm gonna pour about half a cup in my iced coffee. Next ingredient is my skinny syrup and this one is the zero sugar, zero calories, zero everything. Pumpkin cinnamon roll and I just cracked this one open. I did get it at TJ Maxx for $3.99 and I'll show you right there. Zero everything on your macros label. Now this one, personal preference, add as much or as little as you want to your iced coffee. It's that simple to make your own keto iced coffee at home and you're probably gonna save quite a bit of money instead of going out. This is what I always do. I will occasionally get one at Dunkin' Donuts, but come on people, that means I physically need to leave the house. I would rather just make it at home. And here's my snack. I promise you, I did not coordinate this to be an iced pumpkin coffee and pumpkin seeds. I did not, but these are like my new favorite snack. I do not have an affiliate link. I do not have a discount code. I think I got these in Keto Crate, and as soon as I did, I fell in love with them. These are just sea salt flavored pumpkin seeds. They're dry roasted. They're absolutely amazing. Now, if you are interested in Keto Crate, you can get your first box for only $29.99 and I'll have that linked below for you and you can cancel anytime, but it's a great way to try new products and that's how I found these. I don't even know how to pronounce them. Scooter? No idea. So what I did was I found them on Amazon and I ordered them. This whole bag is only, is it $4 a bag? So you can buy a six pack box for only $24. And let me tell you, these are so worth it. Check this out. You've got to see the inside of this. Look at those. These are so good. The girls love them. I love them. Your macros on this are a third of a cup, 250 calories. Your carbs are seven, fiber five, so two net carbs. Your protein is 14. And then look at all the other things that you get in this. Iron, magnesium, zinc, all that good stuff. And your only ingredients, pumpkin seeds, sea salt. I promise you, you will not be disappointed in these. If you love pumpkin seeds, this is the way to go. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that I will probably have a serving of these. I, it's possible I could eat the whole bag. Honestly, I just now cut this bag open and me and the girls will probably finish it tonight. That's how much we love these pumpkin seeds. So I'll have the Amazon link below if you wanna go look at them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.